cherished child, I urge you to acknowledge that benefits are imminent, arriving swiftly like a soft rain gracing your surroundings. The love and strategy I have prepared for you are unmatched. I can provide you with a reliable rationale, instill tranquility, and transform your most challenging circumstances. Follow me out of the desert to a pure spring, and I will guide you to a pristine spring. Spring. Convey my benediction, including faith, happiness, and modesty. Do not underestimate it, since it may manifest in seemingly simple forms sometimes. While others strive for significant advantages, I prioritize the conventional and seemingly insignificant, as I recognize their potential for greatness. Awaken, my precious one, because extraordinary events are imminent. Seek my counsel, and you will discern the rewards that may be forthcoming. I seek a modest heart, and my soul longs to embrace a life always prepared to provide love and forgiveness. Understand this, I have chosen you, and you must not question it. I have meticulously followed your path with my kind touch, inscribing your destiny on an everlasting scroll from the beginning of the arena. The moment has arrived to acknowledge what I have arranged for you. Approach my altar daily, present your inquiries and deficiencies, and get my absolution. Prepare yourself, the moment is near, and you have essential responsibilities to fulfill. I intend to utilize you for a multitude of feats. Let us start this journey together, as you have my steadfast support. Remember, I love you, and there are blessings in heaven inscribed with your name. I recall that you will be inquiring why favorable events have transpired in your life. Regard me with utmost sincerity, because both in the celestial realm and on earth, conditions are converging in accordance with your wishes. I have given an irrevocable directive to ensure your acquisition of ample resources and liberation from financial obligations. I have specifically designed supernatural insights and benefits for you and your family. Your heavenly inheritance is not a question of risk. I valued you even before your inception, and I have arranged many magnificent offerings for you. Yet, above all, recognize that my eternal love is the most precious gift of all. I cherished you throughout your detachment, and I persisted in my affection when you reiterated it to me. Your sporadic mistakes no longer intimidate me. I cannot condemn you for your transgressions. You approach me with a genuine heart filled with remorse and truthfulness. I see your affection for me and acknowledge your intentions and emotions. I value your honesty, and no one can deceive me, unlike those who feign perfection and virtue while entering my presence to criticize and blame you. Your spirit emanates tranquility, your demeanor is kind, and your ideas are untainted. Despite your missteps, you ascend with confidence in your beliefs. Do not let mortals direct weapons against you in this world. No one has that right. If you maintain a religious mentality and approach me daily with humility and a desire to learn, I may reward your efforts with several benefits. I understand that your aspirations are not based on worldly possessions. You are pursuing benefits and security for your family. I can provide you with that and much more. I can prepare you, and when the door is open, do not hesitate to enter. As you listen, supernatural marvels will manifest in the religious sphere, bringing new individuals into your lives, presenting unprecedented opportunities, and transforming seemingly problematic situations into benefits through your faith and perseverance. They may bring peace and nourishment to your home. But remember that the most important and treasured gift is already yours, my unending love. Assert your conviction in me. In my embrace lies the resolution to all your difficulties. So approach me, my dear. What are you observing for? You understand that I have affection for you. You have persistently sensed it inside you, even during moments of isolation. Although you rejected whispers, which I don't cherish, you recognize its insincerity. A spark continues to burn, and a passionate desire to return to this yearning and expectant home resides inside you. 
do not hesitate to return. I acknowledge that you may feel overwhelmed and uncertain about your next steps. You believed you had faith. Nonetheless, several disappointments obstructed your path, especially from those you relied upon. Individuals pursued their own paths and saw you as disregarding them. You were dejected, believing I did not arrive when summoned. Yet, I promise you that I am typically punctual. I did not depart from your side in any respect. I monitored you. You provided endless responses and offered all the solutions required. Even if you did not consistently trust me, I spoke with you eloquently. Although you sometimes found it difficult to trust that your omnipotent God could speak directly to you, kindly refrain from deviating from this path. You truly find value there. Your home serves as your refuge, a place where you may feel tranquility and solace. Deep and restorative aspirations facilitate nocturnal relaxation. As you slumber tonight, you will see yourself near a pristine river, where you may gaze at me with your eyes. I may stretch my hands, and you will walk barefoot on that captivating water, alleviating all of your anguish, rage, and disappointments. Upon awakening in the morning, you will feel invigorated and empowered, and you may recognize that I have alleviated the considerable weight off your shoulders. For admitting mistakes and returning to faith, one may feel exceptional. You no longer need to seek out someone who can articulate your topics beautifully. I am present. My term is lifestyles. It is commendable. Accept it in your heart, and my Holy Spirit will fill you. I embody your lifestyle and serve as your gift. The authentic response your heart seeks. Affirm your faith in me with complete devotion, because a remarkable gift awaits. Are you able to perceive it? Is it possible to enjoy tranquility? However, I urge you to nurture your heart with my words and refrain from allowing doubts to undermine your trust. Maintain your position. I own the last word. I can cure any afflictions. Embrace bravery and all curses, debts, and distressing memories from the past will dissipate from your existence. Your emancipation is readily accessible now. The shackles are fracturing. Joy and happiness will arrive in plenty. I may elicit a profound expression of admiration inside you. Your mouth may be filled, and your heart will brim with gladness. What I have articulated will transpire. I have made a commitment, and you will see it with your own eyes. You may get anything you want, enabling you to assist others and support those in need. With enthusiasm, let me connect with your body, soul, and heart to channel my energy and alleviate your suffering, dispelling your despondency. Allow me to enter your soul and absorb my peace. You have battled valiantly, shown resilience, persevered, and stayed constant. You disregarded discouraging remarks and critiques from others. The day has arrived to proclaim triumph in order to attain sustenance and wealth. Delegate your ideas to me, and I will support you comprehensively. Rejoice in my presence, and I will fulfill the aspirations of your heart. Identify me, and I can resolve your issue. I want to provide you with exemplary and superior items. I urge you to have faith in me. My assurances are documented. Everyone who has faith in me can achieve everything. I need to examine your answer. Notify me that you have faith in me, but also take initiative, elevate yourself, and choose to distance yourself from influences and acquaintances that divert you from me. They will not assist you in times of significant distress, and material possessions will be of no value if you lose your faith. Place unflinching trust in my promises, and with steadfast determination, you seek me alongside your heart each morning, throughout the day, throughout the nights, and prior to sleep, present your desires before me and recognize that I possess the capacity to provide you with the optimal opportunities intended for your development and enlightenment. Exercise diligent attention. Your life is about to witness an extraordinary, magnificent, potent, and luminous occurrence. 
I have an affinity with you. Articulate your viewpoint. Do not succumb to despair if you are experiencing sadness today. If you believe you are not strong, I request that you provide me access to your emotional openness. Embrace the tranquility I provide. Utilize this opportunity to tranquilize your mind. I am the architect of the cosmos, and I want to communicate directly with your heart. Turbulent winds disturb your lives. I instruct them to remain so. You no longer need to fear the dangers of the arena, which aim to disturb you, undermine your faith, and obscure your accomplishments. At times, you may feel vulnerable. Nevertheless, I guarantee you that in your moments of weakness, you will find strength inside me. Your faith, when combined with my energy, makes you impervious. Your renewed energy strengthens your spirit, eradicating your vulnerability. You may assert that I am resilient and confidently pursue your journey to the elevation where I await you. In this place, your aspirations will materialize. This is the time to embrace my intentions and let me shape your lives. Your purpose is to rise, not to retreat. Expand your horizons and elevate where advantages await you. From now on, depression, sadness, and discouragement will not touch you. You will awaken each morning with a fervent and vibrant faith as the sun ascends. Choose pleasure in all situations and allow no adverse information or worries to diminish the radiant grin upon your face. Remember, my costly child, you belong to me. The Holy Spirit resides inside you, distinguishing you from the world, even as others may quail at rumors and waver in their desire for my divine love. Your faith is unexpected, and from your mouth emanate powerful prayers and utterances. Thus, go, my child. You are unrestrained. Embrace delight and disseminate the words I have imparted to you throughout your family circle. I have deep affection for you, and I will liberate you from despair, instilling your heart with fortitude. You can face each day with courage because he'll never let you fail. Do not be concerned, because I acknowledge that your challenges are formidable. However, my resilience surpasses them. Your enemies may also face you, but I am a more formidable opponent. You may be trying to steal your longing, but I want to restore you. Familial issues may cause you sorrow, yet I can create a remarkable transformation, and your circumstances will change today. Will you concur with me, or will you express skepticism? Select to concur, and you may ascend, endure, contend, perform your obligations, and remain in faith. I acknowledge your suffering and silent tears resulting from your current circumstances. Nonetheless, today I envelop you in my love and assuage your sorrow. Take a sip of my living water, and I will enliven your body, revive your spirit, and quench your soul. With my support today, you will persevere in the face of daily challenges from foes looking to undermine you. The arduous days you have endured are concluding. I have affection for you, and my love will dispel every apprehension. Seek me, my child, because nothing is beyond my capability. Just as I quelled tempests, divided the sea, and facilitated miracles, I have now subdued the inner turmoil inside you and bestowed the vigor to traverse the seas of uncertainty. You will not succumb because I extend my hand, and my compassion sustains you. I am dispatching my angels to oversee you and fortify you as you navigate against contemporary challenges. A celestial army precedes you, aiding you in your conflicts. I have established significant advantages for you, ensuring that your worries and adversaries cannot prevail, as my might surpasses everything. My child, enjoy my company, and remember that you are more than a victor with me. I want you to know that I heard your prayer at night as you expressed your thoughts, seeking courage, strength, tranquility, and assurance to confront life's obstacles. Examine your present state. You have awakened to a new day, fortified and ready. Your soul is now neither feeble nor disheartened. 
you possess the courage to confront any formidable challenge that dares to confront you. Where there was once concern, there is now confidence. Where there was once shyness, there is now audacity. The previous day, your legs may have trembled at the prospect of impending challenges. Nevertheless, today you stand firm and ready to overcome them. You must elevate yourself in advance, because I have instilled in your soul a passionate determination for accomplishment. Consider my power, as I guided you here and gave you the power to fight a thousand giants. Despite the intimidating nature of your restrictions, bear in mind that nothing exceeds my vigor. I have informed you and supported you through your struggles and wars. I can support you with my strength and affection. You are greater than a conqueror. Every formidable entity that comes your way will ultimately fail. I have given you the commitment and strength necessary to overcome every challenge you encounter. Your goal is to overcome every formidable challenge that threatens to bring you down. I have given you the will and vigor necessary to overcome whatever obstacle you encounter. Your objective is to overcome any obstacle that emerges, allowing you to remain in a state of plenty and perfect tranquility at this moment. Divert your attention from concerns and focus on me. This is an integral component of a system. My essence in your heart will alleviate your worries as you place your trust in my words and remember my promises. You could tackle everyone and prevail in any challenge. With the power of my Holy Spirit, you will overcome all odds. You are not weak. You are strong. You have my affection. Remember this. All things are attainable for those who possess faith. I have deep affection for you. So do not despair, because I am here to support you and provide you the strength to persevere. I am providing you with every ounce of energy required for sustenance. Don't let the challenges overwhelm you. You will experience the ability to ascend, progress, confront obstacles, and endure for your faith. I acknowledge your prior experiences of success and victory, hence, the current challenges you encounter will not prevail against you. You will never again face defeat or humiliation. Your ardent faith will witness extraordinary wonders as you heed my words and gain courage. My words have the power to cure your health, support your family, and fulfill all your aspirations. Your table may be replete with riches, and joy will permeate your household. Authentic prosperity will bless your family. Accept my benefits with humility, and, in gratitude, remember those who are in distress. Utilize your wealth to benefit and support others. Are you striving to help the less fortunate while witnessing the windows of heaven open and thus filling your own home with tranquility and happiness? My true advantage is manifest in the peace and stability that your family experiences through health and knowledge, which herald periods of joy and renewal. Recognize and acknowledge inside myself that a more favorable future is attainable for people that care about me. Swiftly, you may observe the fulfillment of several aspirations you believe it to be unattainable. I, your all-powerful and divine God, am ever-present with you. I will care for, protect, and sustain you forever. For your benefits, solutions, and surrounding changes to match your ultimate reality in speeding up the process. Align your heart and thoughts. Open the doors of your house and allow my presence to assume its appropriate position. As you listen to me now, understand that your lifestyle is ready for transformation. I comprehend your wishes even before you articulate them. Yet, I want your ideas and aspirations to be unambiguous. Please have a positive attitude toward your requests from me. Understand your desires and your objective. Victory demands a cost. Through sincere devotion, intense supplication, diligent effort, and personal sacrifice, I may bestow upon you a success that will serve as an enduring benefit for your family. I will no longer provide anything that leads to disappointment or creates a divide between us. I do not wish for your family to suffer due to your absence. I hope you succeed in the world and shine brightly on the streets, but when you return home, 
have no sadness. You must not neglect those you appreciate. Cease to encumber your life with conflict and refrain from compromising your well-being. I consistently seek what is optimal for you. Genuine tranquility, steadfast faith, and a fulfilling existence. Tranquility and freedom from ordinary worries characterize it. Material things are transient. You contributed nothing to this world, and you will take nothing with you except for the love and affection you cultivate in those who cherish you, the faith you share, the support you provide to those in need, your unwavering belief, and your devotion. These are the goods intended to provide you with a genuine spiritual benefit. I can personally convey to you, dear daughter and adored son, that your dedication to the Manushi has been an extraordinary blessing I have planned for you, and one day I will bestow upon you a crown. With my own hands, I possess the power to alter circumstances and seasons, to change minds, and to arrange everything so that you may embrace my blessings and relinquish your sorrows. I am at your doorstep, imploring you to open the door. I want to live in your home and I hope your whole family experiences my profound tranquility. All that was wrongfully stolen from you will be restored in an enhanced form. Remain resolute, and do not accept defeat. Your omnipotent God doesn't abandon you through grace, love, and strength. Even though life has challenged you, others have deceived you, and they want you to fail. I have discovered inside your heart the potential for ascendance. You will rise like a valiant warrior, and those who attempt to challenge, humiliate, or defeat you will be astonished as they see everything that I will achieve through you, their eyes wide open. They may observe as I guide you from the arid expanse into the rich territory where marvels abound. You have faced several challenges, but your day of success is here. I can cure your ailments, liberate you from confinement, and provide you with exceptional freedom. Believe my word and hold on to hope like a prized possession. It's the most valuable asset. Refuse to listen to the hollow whispers of others who envy you for the advantages I bestow upon you. I will provide you with respectable work meals at your desk, sufficient protection against malevolent loyal friends, and harmony within your family. You will possess exceptional aspirations and deep yearnings for existence. Persist and succeed. Always remember this. Your age is irrelevant. Do not underestimate your capabilities. Do not use your age as a justification. I can achieve remarkable transformations in you due to my love, and nothing can impede my intentions. You possess my steadfast guidance, my affection, and my loyalty. I choose your affection and fidelity. Assemble for a novel magical existence. I cherish you for all eternity. You must acknowledge that there is no longer a reason for concern. Don't allow your heart's troubles to dishearten or burden you. I answer all your prayers individually and am usually ready to guide you through your hardest times. Imagine a magnificent river flowing from my throne a river filled with all your troubles, cleansing your spirit, bringing tranquility, and nurturing serenity. I fervently want to be liberated from the incessant tempests that assail the confines of your consciousness, filled with faith, hope, and serenity. Allow me to explore the recesses obscured by unpleasant memories, where sorrow and anguish reside. I am your sovereign, your redeemer, and I have absolved your transgressions. If you really love and trust me, there should be no need to torture yourself with uncertainties and self-reproach. Eliminate the uncertainty over the resolution of your difficulties. I do not want you to continue living in distress and suffering. I do not want you to spend your days with your head down, neglecting the faith that lifts your eyes to the skies. I desire your liberation from all troubles commencing immediately. Indeed, I recognize that you live in a world filled with suffering, yet the era of your birth has chosen you. The appropriate environment, regardless of the challenges you have faced, is all integral to my divine design. Your faith will ignite today, 
and your perseverance will give you the humility to receive my exceptional knowledge and benefits. Your financial difficulties will diminish as you relinquish your addiction to worldly items. Your family is more precious, as is your health and your future. Additionally, remember to appreciate yourself, as I truly value you with patience and respect. Refrain from expecting perfection from yourself, as it can impose constraints on your journey and lead to uncertainty. Everyone commits mistakes, but I recognize the pain you experience when you deviate from my guidance, since your emotions prompt actions you would otherwise avoid. Nevertheless, there exists forgiveness and grace for your contrite heart. Each new day presents a chance and fresh mercies that I believe I provide for you. Every morning I may approach you, knock on your window, and rouse you. I will illuminate your face with gentle beams of pure white light, exposing the infinite love I have for you. It is time to really trust and follow me. You have a future to fulfill, a purpose to achieve, and dreams for Chase and your own family to support. I want your adoration and allegiance. Your heart is already mine but I need you to pursue your road to freedom earnestly. I did not give you lifestyles that the winds that collide with turbulent waters can throw away and around. Do not naively trust deceptive friends who elevate you just to subsequently betray you. During your most vulnerable moments, they appear to trivialize the difficulties you face, persistently assigning the blame to you, which ultimately leads you to internalize their accusations. At that point, your trust begins to erode once more. Do not be concerned, solitude. Preserve my love and devotion closely. Present to me your pure faith, like that of a child, and concur with me when I assert my profound affection for you. Trust in me, and you will never be alone. One may find triumph among adversity. I can provide whatever you need during moments of despair. I can give you the health, strength, and resilience to persevere unwaveringly, embracing love, letting go of fear, removing false individuals from your life, and resisting the urge to stay. I may serve as your ally on tranquil nights when you need words of encouragement, assistance, and a non-judgmental listener. I can provide you everything you need when you approach me with sincerity and humility. Perform the action out of love for me, not obligation. Demonstrate your commitment and fidelity in this way. I am unimpressed by ostentatious displays of piety. I disregard those who feign affection for me in public while secretly conspiring to harm my chosen ones and loved ones. I will acknowledge your devotion, faith, and commitment, and I will respond to your prayers when you approach me with the greatest sincerity from your heart. You comprehend the extent of my affection for you, I need not elaborate more. Your worries are now behind you. I endorse your beliefs, and you shall not exist in terror. Together, we may advance toward triumph with a serene heart. My adoration and tranquility have surrounded your soul, and they always will. Do not be concerned. Benefits are forthcoming. The moment to recover several lost items is approaching. You will see that nothing is impossible for me. A remarkable miracle is in its nature. Your supplications have been fulfilled. What I want to provide you surpasses everything you could request. Your future resides only in my embrace. Avoid seeking out negativity, and do not let malevolent influences instill notions of failure and folly in your thinking. I am in agreement with you. I value it when you communicate with me, navigate challenges with me, and trust me enough to share your emotions. I heard you earlier today. I listened to you yesterday. And while your words were limited, your honesty and intent are what really matter. I need no more assistance, and I have already informed you that even a faith as little as a mustard seed might be enough for your prayers to reach the throne of heaven. Therein, I establish your destiny and offer you solace. From that point on, I express my affection. I acknowledge your requirements. I like it when you converse with me. Your honesty and commitment are invaluable to me when you turn to me in prayer. I listened to you this morning. 
I listened to you the previous day, and despite your limited words, I can readily acknowledge your sincerity and intent. I want no further requests, and I have already informed you that even a little faith, as little as a mustard seed, suffices in your prayers to reach the throne of heaven. I indeed establish your future here, and from this vantage point I offer you solace. I filter my preferences to help you understand your needs. I am certain of my affection for you, and I acknowledge that you recognize this as well. Exhibit strength and courage, confronting all your challenges without fear of enmity or anything. Remain unwavering in the face of adversity, and uphold your composure against those who doubt my promises. You traverse an endless cycle in pursuit of happiness. Nevertheless, you have demonstrated the fortitude to dismiss the judgments of pessimistic individuals, and despite the derision, you have steadfastly maintained your faith in me. Therefore, I assure you that I shall never forsake you, I shall never abandon you, I shall protect you from your adversaries day and night, and I shall watch over you. Your emotional well-being is of immense importance to me. I need my sacred words to cultivate your intellect, and I require all your aspirations and ambitions to align with my desires. Avoid hastily making judgments due to external pressure. Avoid making impulsive decisions to satisfy them. Exhibit patience and be accessible to me in prayer. I can show you the pathway that leads to success. Ignore the mentality of failure. I have a strong affinity for you, which is why you occupy a significant place in my life. You may succeed in all endeavors. I want you to feel valued and protected, enabling you to confront your challenges and adversaries with confidence and without concern. Consult my words for the many assurances that guide your actions and illuminate your path. There is no need to go without awareness. I am sending you out to succeed, and I surround you with my affection. I empower you with courage and capability to do remarkable feats and to cultivate knowledge to overcome obstacles, vanquish adversaries, and conquer giants. Specify what further information you want. I am attentive. I wish the realization of my desire for your existence and the manifestation of my authority in a way that is clearly visible to those around you. You will serve as the instrument via which I provide benefits to mankind. Commence with your family. Encourage them to seek me fervently, pray for them, and I will empower them to heal their afflictions eradicate poverty, alleviate their sufferings, resolve animosities and conflicts, and restore forgiveness and harmony. Being resolute and not giving in to fear will bring serenity to your home. My elegance and fidelity accompany you with proportion. Make them comprehend that their advantages do not arise from fortune or intimidation. Provide assistance to them, bearing in mind that I am the source of their blessings and sustenance. Urge them to recognize me in all aspects and to prioritize me in their hearts if they want change. My blessings are with you and your family. I want my gentle presence to light your house at night, providing a sanctuary for those who need me. Every individual who crosses your threshold will depart with their ailments behind. They will sense my presence inside their souls, and marvels will manifest in your home. Despite your lack of understanding, you can achieve my deep purpose if you are open to it. Many may have inflated expectations of you. However, my perspective is unique. My goals are noble, and I could bestow upon you benefits that are more exquisite and potent than you or anybody else could anticipate. I urge you to pray continuously. Seek my words, connect with my intentions, and heed my voice throughout the early morning hours. I want to provide you with the map and instructions to prevent you from wandering in obscurity. I want you to achieve daily success by eschewing the path of conformity and resisting the failures and discouragements imposed by the world. I have come to impart significant life lessons to you. If you adhere closely to my guidance and trust my words, my benefits will surpass yours. Occasionally, problems may accumulate, so I want a moment of your attention. Focus your gaze on me and listen to my words. 
I position my right hand on your head, cleansing it. The essence of all matters, a stream of life-giving water emanates from my throne, dispelling all fear and adversaries. May I also surround you, even as I offer peace. I have your future in my hands. The predicament you now encounter is not your conclusion. Recollect my statements. They facilitate bodily recovery and provide mental encouragement. You may rise from that bed of despair and feel transformed. My Holy Spirit envelops and elevates you to ensure that no harm shall come to you. Your adversaries are aware that I have bestowed my anointing upon you, a transcendent blessing, enabling you to prevail. I am refreshing your rationale and vision starting now. You will see the matters of this existence from an altered perspective. You will not succeed without drive, and you hope that worry will no longer overwhelm you during challenging situations. To combat any feelings of defeat, I am giving you the facts and my support. You are very fortunate. Utilize the exquisite goods I have bestowed upon you for precision and interact with others in your vicinity with benevolence. Value those who have contributed to your current position. Recognize that I have never completed the entire task solely using your intelligence. Numerous individuals have offered assistance. They have facilitated access and provided chances. I have protected you from concealed dangers, theft, and illnesses. My beloved child, I want you to understand the profound extent of my concern for you. I want to see your success in the realization of the life I have arranged for you. Your faith and belief in me have profoundly affected me, and I am committed to accompanying you throughout your journey, guiding your steps, and placing individuals in your life to share blessings should you desire to amplify the gifts, abilities, and resources I have bestowed upon you. Seek those who have helped you, even the unseen ones who have done so selflessly and without expecting anything in return, in order to become wealthy. Numerous individuals have already bestowed their blessings onto you, and now it is your opportunity to express appreciation and become an instrument of my affection. You comprehend my emotions, and I acknowledge your capability to accomplish so. Proceed now to aid those who occupy your thoughts and see how I might enrich you with every expression of thankfulness. I can increase your gifts. Open the celestial windows and bestow blessings upon you. This admirable mentality of recognizing others will provide not just basic plenty but also emotional and financial liberation. I will eliminate the burdens of debt, provide job opportunities, and establish avenues for entrepreneurial endeavors. You will serve as a beacon of enlightenment, leading others in your provision of prosperity during challenging times. Remember the instruments I have provided, my word, your faith, your prayer, and your grateful heart. If you embrace them, you can thrive in a turbulent environment with benefits and no harm. The malevolent may confront the consequences of their actions, while your family and loved ones may get significant blessings. I will eradicate mental discomfort and lethargy, fostering a revitalized ambition to innovate, explore, and provide wealth for mankind via their careers. Individuals who cherish and adhere to my teachings resemble shrubs situated by running waterways, yielding fruit in its appropriate time, and their foliage remains evergreen. This has consistently been authentic. In challenging situations, refrain from succumbing to the industry's pessimism. Despite others anticipating failure and disaster, I will cultivate your prosperity throughout life's adversities. Your presence will be prominent in the workplace today. I raise you to bear the standard of triumph. Those who oppose you may face embarrassment, which will ultimately lead to your peace. My guidance may help you calm down despite worries and anxiety. I will alleviate your concerns, and you will see the divine. Embrace tranquility, inhale deeply, and revel in this newfound vitality. You may encounter difficult days, but never an afternoon devoid of my affection. Challenging circumstances may emerge, yet you should not confront them in solitude. 
You may typically find solace in my affection and protection at this moment. While listening, shut your eyes and absorb the words. Have the audacity to request what you want. Pray for supply, restoration, motivation, and proficiency in achieving your objective. Pray for your family and cherished individuals. Challenging situations arise and dissipate. Still, my existence endures. I am no longer far away, and you need not raise your voice to get my attention. As you cry, I use your appearance to my advantage. I heed your prayers and will not disregard you. You have relinquished bitterness and animosity, embracing the essence of thankfulness. Your prayers are potent and exquisite for me. I provide you solutions with care, welcome them with determination, accept them with trust, and await them with appreciation for the benefits they will soon offer you. I am functioning inside the affections of those you cherish. Demonstrate their significance to you and your reliability toward me. This may impact their life. You are a luminary in the obscurity, leading people homeward. I am present, safeguarding everyone, even those who may not have faith in me. Your affection for them is sufficient to satisfy me. They will know that my love sustains them after I bless and protect them. Eventually, they will acknowledge that your nights of prayer were devoid of sleep, your tears for their redemption. Storms may arise, however, those who pursue me will discover a wealth of hope and trust. Others may exemplify failure and bewilderment, unable to differentiate between the acceptable and the atrocious, but you will remain steadfast amongst the raging sea. Under my guidance, do not fret when challenges arise or succumb to despair when resources dwindle. Confront such disputes with courage, safeguarding my integrity and recalling the truth you have accepted. If you really have faith in me, raise your head high and engage in the conflict without reservation. I instill boldness and self-confidence in you, guiding you to a realm of prosperity. Keep your focus on my words, disregarding hollow threats. Honor me today. Articulate it vocally. I regard you, my cherished God. I acknowledge that I am your shepherd, and you will need nothing, even when the earth quakes, because you will find solace alongside tranquil waterways and untested meadows. I bless your spirit with divine sweetness and guide you down virtuous pathways because my love for you is unwavering and eternal. You acknowledge this, and you possess a robust, unwavering faith that sustains you on your most challenging days. Amidst the most arduous challenges, your alliance with me causes your adversaries to waver. I will bestow tranquility upon your table, and adherence to my commandments and instructions will enhance your being, causing your countenance to radiate with divine benevolence, while compassion will watch over you. My words will resonate with your heart, allowing you to dwell in my presence daily. It is now effortless to believe. It necessitates humility and simplicity. Identify your challenges, and I will enhance your strength throughout times of inability. I will guide you with my hands till you achieve your objective. As concerns overwhelm you, I will provide tranquility for your mind and serenity for your heart. I may surround you, but you will never be alone. I will consistently encompass you with affection and serve as your protector. I will fortify my sword to safeguard you in the area, offering you tranquility. You may walk with anticipation, a smile conveying tranquility. Individuals will see your radiant countenance, and you will convey to them that my omnipotent God, my celestial Father, loves, protects, and nurtures me. Your faith will strengthen, and your adversaries will cry out in bewilderment. I will bestow tranquility and resources onto your workstation. My directives and guidance will manifest with authority, and your countenance will radiate with divine anointing. Virtue and compassion will lead you. I am initiating your spiritual awakening guiding you into a novel supernatural existence, apart from the abode of suffering. I have extraordinary marvels prepared for you. Even if you have not requested it, 
I will envelop you in benefits stemming from my unwavering, everlasting love. If you gave me your heart today and promised to follow me faithfully, no one can take you. Exercise caution with distractions and uncertainties. The adversary tries to manipulate your thoughts, yet no individual can reach you or your family. The adversary aims to weaken your faith and emotional stability. The wicked and spiteful cannot withstand the sight of your might, yet you vanquish them. Your unwavering attitude emanates tranquility, determination, and extraordinary strength, the endowments of my holy attitude. Anxiety does not reside in your heart, and you remain resolute in the face of unforeseen challenges. You maintain composure, recalling the phrases, Attend to me, and let my presence envelop you with love and tranquility. I offer you improvements and advantages, eager to see your success and prosperity. Your inheritance is eternal life in the heavenly realm. Remain on the earth with fervor, logic, and a visionary mindset to achieve greatness, disseminating my message across the cosmos. I can accomplish remarkable feats through your actions, offering solace and support to those seeking spiritual fulfillment and delivering religious sustenance to those in need. Walk with confidence, avoiding the company of undesirable individuals. Are you seeking a community of individuals that value and support you as genuine friends without attempting to exert control over your life or family? Do not allow the adversary to subjugate you again or succumb to defeatist rhetoric. Instead, pursue relationships with those who value you. I unequivocally commend those who motivate you without expecting financial recompense. Conversely, our relationship is confidential, and I want to communicate with you promptly. I will evaluate my enigmas and disclose my intentions to you. If you want to understand me better, I will be here for you in the morning. Accompany me. While others slumber, present your desires to me and heed the expressions I formulate each day. I will respond to you in various ways without revealing my identity. Invoke me and I will respond. I am elevating you to see extraordinary phenomena via aspirations and visions, revealing miraculous events. Embrace these principles with faith, and I will envelop you in many benefits. I have extraordinary plans for you aimed at instilling calm and pleasure in your heart. I invite you to accompany me on this journey. It is no longer only about hastening forward, it is about maintaining a steadfast and consistent trajectory. Persevere in your faith, dear one. May it remain tranquil and resilient. Do not allow external distractions to divert your focus. Concentrate on me and your look before and. Your holiday destination is not far off, merely a short distance away. I recall that sometimes your days may seem prolonged and tedious, but remember that you have evolved and do not let your emotions dictate your life. I chose to bless your family and prepare them to confront any challenges without fear. I may vanquish your adversaries and overcome your constraints. I cannot provide a pristine life, but I assure you that faith and strength will remain by your side. Embrace bravery, confident in the certainty of your triumph. Motivate my assurances which impart restoration to your body, lucidity to your ideas, and fortitude to your heart. I must sever the bonds of discouragement and despair that burden you and induce skepticism toward my statements. Disengage from that misleading companionship that steers you toward failure. Such difficulties will disperse. A significant miracle awaits if you choose to comply with my wishes and adhere to my affection. Avoid emulating those who scavenge in the dust, pursuing illusory assurances of material wealth and transient fame. They mistakenly believe that my presence and essence require individuals who vociferously announce their existence, yet this is a deceptive fallacy. They dismiss my words, they do not accept me for who I am. They are disinterested in knowing the one who entered the world as a servant and sacrificed his life on a cross. However, you, my child, have opened your heart to me, and I wish to perform extraordinary works within you. Adorn your soul with humility, 
and reject the offerings of the devourer. I am here to provide you with reassurance and information so that waiting does not discourage you and that legal proceedings and uncertainties do not undermine your faith and happiness. Speak to me earnestly and declare, My God, I place my confidence in you. I affirm my belief in you, and with patience I await my favor. I assure you that what you have requested will materialize. You have consistently placed your trust in me, believing that I will fulfill all your requests in the name of Jesus. I would like to share with you the numerous benefits of the new circumstances. Open skies and abundant blessings will pervade every aspect of your home life, enveloping you and your family in serenity and joy. Such outcomes are attainable for those who share my convictions, embrace my words, and steadfastly await the blessing without wavering. Remember, my dear, you must be resolute and engaged. Life requires time to develop, akin to the nine months necessary for a child to enter the world. Before germination and growth, a seed needs to land on fertile soil, fracture, and undergo transformation. Your advantages are valuable and impactful, but they require work and time to materialize to your benefit. I understand that you are aware of this, and I hope that it won't dishearten you. Maintain your focus on the horizon as you progress, putting contemporary matters behind. Don't worry. Adapt. We will tailor everything to meet your exceptional standards. I desire to surround you with individuals and tools that promote your growth. With me as your protector, no one can defeat, blame, or choose you. Oh, my baby, if only you could see with your spiritual vision the celestial armies that stand behind you. Could you perceive my exquisite gentleness, illuminating your path and the downfall of your adversaries, should you discern the celestial and terrestrial movements in your favor? I may soon unveil magnificent images to you in your dreams, offering a glimpse of paradise on earth. I have the ability to offer the world's blessings to you, acknowledging your genuine and unwavering trust in me. Your faith is unwavering, which is why I respond to you each day with a unique message. Each day may provide new challenges, yet my affection for you will remain unchanged while you attend to your daily responsibilities. Recognize this, dear. I cherish you profoundly, however. I want to hear those words from your own lips. I hold you in high regard, Jesus, and I want to heed your words. There is nothing you could want from me that my affection cannot provide. I can restore your possessions, your dignity, and the territory you properly merit. I provide a superior existence for you if you entrust me with your heart and accept the healing and absolution that my affection provides. Your heart holds the commitments. Believe with your mind and spirit. Don't emulate those who talk about my affection without giving it enough thought. They might let other people's opinions get the better of them and end up suffering the consequences and contempt they encounter. Many seek to impose their insidious questioning upon you. They profess affection while endeavoring to extract from you. They adhere to unattainable standards that they themselves do not observe. They don garments of righteousness and feign sanctity, perceiving themselves as superior to you regardless of your actions in their eyes you invariably become the sole culprit, the one deemed guilty. I designate you to complete autonomy. This night, you will rest peacefully, and my sacred soul will convey messages to you. I can restore your spirit and intellect. The morning after I break all your bonds, you may be eternally free. Your pleasure will no longer depend on others' assessments. Ultimately, you will embody your true self an astute and brilliant child of mine with a kind, resilient, and valiant soul. You may possess a vibrant, potent, and steadfast faith. At your darkest moments, when others insult you and hurt your emotions, when everything around you seems to darken and you feel like there's no point to continue, you can rely on me. You belong to me, and I need you to strive for loftier pursuits. Do not resign yourself to living in a corner. 
lamenting under a roof that you only despise. Although I adore you, I can aid you, absolve you, and restore you. I can provide you with an enhanced future via formidable abilities and skills. Peace, pleasure, and fitness occupy their appropriate space. Maintain your composure and say it honestly, my dear. You are a respected prince or princess who is always under the protection of your powerful Heavenly Father. Inform me. I agree with you, beloved Father. I hold a miracle in my hands, a number that we both agree is attainable. Your own relatives may also be astonished. Those who covertly looked down upon you and publicly condemned you may now seek your pardon for the anguish they caused. They no longer recognize you. After rejecting you, they overlooked the opportunity they had been seeking. I can guide you to an improved atmosphere. I will enhance you. Spiritually, it is a realm devoid of conflict or jealousy. But true love persists there. They will honor the gifts and talents I have conferred upon you, enabling your growth and success. Do not dread affluence. I speak about sustenance, tranquility, joy, well-being, and familial bonds. The harmony is free from monetary commitments and complaints. From my vantage point, I see your marvel, which is so extraordinary and enchanting that upon witnessing it, you will acknowledge its true value. Your family will remember your suffering and recognize that you were correct in urging them to believe in the deeply loving God. They will lament their transgressions against you as you sought wisdom and strength, despite their initial derision. However, upon witnessing the powerful response to your prayers, they will seek your forgiveness. I have selected you for a unique purpose, to be a genuine benefit for your family and community, rather than pursuing wealth and fame like some who squander their time seeking validation from others and are prepared to compromise their integrity for recognition and reward. You are on a unique path. Do not lower yourself to consume the scraps others provide. Gaze at my throne, it is your rightful place. With your patience and trust, you may achieve it and see the fulfillment of all the promises I have given to you. I can create wonders through you, yet do not presume that mankind would reciprocate just for monetary compensation and acclaim. I often direct my affection toward you, and I provide you with tranquility. My child asserts that the miracle is in my hands. He asks, do you want it? Yes or no? You have completed your examination, and now it's time to receive your blessings. You have endured enough and acquired valuable insights from your experiences. You exhibited bravery. You encountered unexpected difficulties. Your errors were not the cause, rather, the adversary's attempts sought to destabilize you, much like how the wind sways wheat in times of distress. You sowed your seeds, which fell to the ground wet from your tears. However, have faith and open your eyes because the earth trembles and a vibrant sprout emerges. The evidence is already clear. Commit this to your memory. This year can yield a substantial harvest for you. The seeds you deemed worthless have resurfaced and may return to you as blessings, enhancing your spiritual life. They may not bring sorrow with them. They won't impose burdensome worries and issues on you. I have identified your location, my dear. I adore you beyond measure. Your steadfast faith really resonates with me as you confront each day. Consider that I am with you and unconditionally love you in a realm where your spirit may rise. Bear in mind that I serve as your guide and your organization. Engaging with people via kindness and compassion may fulfill your needs. Nevertheless, be cautious not to place your whole trust in fallible humans. Adhere to my directives. Eliminate doubt and pessimism, and with steadfast faith, extraordinary marvels beyond your imagination may unfold before you. This is not only recreation, chance, or vacuous expressions. It is the potency of my sacred word, perpetually realized in impeccable time in accordance with my almighty design. You desire reciprocity to meet the needs of your loved ones. With utmost sincerity, I assure you that I possess the ability to transform you. 
I possess the capacity to transform arts and minds from darkness to enlightenment, and I will do so, nevertheless. I want your faith. You are on a new path, and it is time to leave the past behind. Extend your hand toward your faith and embrace the advantages there before you. Your challenges have structured you. Your time has come. Today, I am empowered to bring about remarkable transformations in your life and the lives of your family. Do not lament the locked door. Reach out to me. Confirm your views and document them immediately. Articulate your assessment of me. Obtain those words of solace and receive the divine support I provide. When one opportunity ends, it is not a cause for sorrow. Each subsequent excellent door will soon open, heralding something superior. Be aware that spiritual conflict exists inside the heavenly domain of your existence and faith. Numerous enemies endeavor to obstruct your development both outside and inside. Although they remain concealed from view, I will provide heavenly insight to guide you. If you approach this guidance with humility and dedicate time to prayer, you may receive additional revelations. You may proceed. The advantages of this conflict will dismantle every impediment to your path. Remember, you can achieve success solely through your own efforts. If you dismiss my counsel and abandon your beliefs, the adversary will seek opportunities to instigate dissension inside you. You will go a considerable distance, positively impact several people, and your family will thrive in comprehension and humility. But we must move toward prosperity, which will improve their lives in every way. Enlarge your hand in my direction. You are ready to rise to the spiritual heights where the future is created and lives are transformed. Countless positive and enjoyable opportunities are available to you now. As you concentrate on my words, I am laying the groundwork for your existence, guaranteeing that future generations will recognize and assist me. Each individual may possess distinctive goods, talents, and the opportunity to seek knowledge and education beyond contemporary imagination. Your family is not predetermined. You don't have to endure spiritual poverty, mental turmoil, or financial stress. Take into account my insights and investigate ways to envision the future. I will bolster your trust and enable you to get and oversee the rewards that may soon emerge with steadfast confidence. Even in the midst of your activity and crowds, my limitless love can heal your heart and turn your pain into blessings and sadness into strength. I want you to see this gentleness. Reflect on your position, pause briefly, and embrace the present via spirituality. It will impart tranquility to your spirit and serenity to your thoughts. I bestow upon you the fortitude to manage the tumultuous emotions inside your mind. Knowledge can also exhaust and distress you, making you feel weak. Reflect on me once again, because I am here and nothing is amiss. Your habits continue and they will also eventually change. Divine favor secure your fate, preventing any opponent from disheartening you through hardship. I can convert all opposition, transform scarcity into wealth and cure any ailment within your family and the whole household. I possess the vitality, and my perpetual decision is to embrace all the marvels I have pledged. I am no longer a man. I am God, and I do not lie. My mission has remained constant since the beginning of time, to redeem you, provide you with everlasting life, and lead you on the road of righteousness. I am the embodiment of your life's answer. Thus, I earnestly urge you to adhere to my assurances and divert your attention from the deceptions of this world. I am elated to see that you regard me as someone who no longer pays attention to the provocations and threats intended to disrupt your tranquility inundating your mind with wrath, confusion, false notifications, and contradictory emotions. They want to guilt you and distract you from the truth and my existence, dear. You are able to discern their motives, and I understand why you feel such affection for me. You will no longer allow others to separate you from your current environment, surrounded by unwavering devotion and love. You have experienced significant loneliness and a lack of affection. 
but I now embrace you, offering comfort via divine energy and support. Because I hold you in high regard, I saw your anxieties and significant challenges, and I listened to the lamentations of your heart. You attempted to escape the issue, pleading for my strong assistance to act promptly. I really appreciate you. This count is of paramount significance to you, and much depends on its resolution. You thought I was previously resentful and reluctant to help. Allow me to clarify this. You may consistently want me, regardless of favorable circumstances or surrounding affluence, do not overlook this. Do not diminish your defenses. Since the opponent aims to distract you, weaken your faith, disrupt your plans, and harm your spirit. I will assist you with this matter, which holds enormous significance for you right now. Your unhappiness causes me distress. I refuse to endure torment, nor do I plan to linger on the same problems and persistently succumb to thoughts of failure. It's impossible, but your faith in the omnipotent God will save you. If discouragement seeks to infiltrate your heart, do not acquiesce, since it would constitute a significant error. Faithful people seeking my blessing should not despair if your proximity saps their will to live. Utilize your faith to serve an efficient and sovereign God who will kindle the fires of divine love inside your heart, empowering you with a remarkable resolve to endure and adhere to the promises I am offering you. Grasp the words I am articulating to you. Your opponents may also disparage you, stating that you are undeserving of life itself, but you should disregard such opinions. I want to live, and soon you may taste, feel, and acquire my advantages once again. Your circumstances will change, your life will improve, and you will eventually resolve the issues that are bothering you. Those who have adhered to my guidance understand that this is not a typical occurrence. Assert your conviction in me. Your commitment to endure against all difficulties and your steadfast affection for me will lead to a transformation in your future and an enhancement of your circumstances. I will intervene in your lives in a supernatural manner, and soon you will see the definitive resolution of your gift dilemma with your own eyes. Declare your faith and commitment now, and notify me that I regard you similarly to how I have shown my affection for you. Amen. Be calm and have faith, my kid, as I handle the impossible. I have assisted you before and can do this once again. May I calm the tumultuous oceans of uncertainty inside your heart, just as I can calm the winds and storms at my command. Approach me now, and I will provide you with the rest you need. I can defer the multitude of ideas and concerns that invade your awareness. I choose serenity for your days and calmness for your evenings. You have many advantages, but sometimes anxieties from different situations obscure them. You should shield yourself from harm that others cannot inflict upon you. I urge you once again to be calm. Disregard the rumors or threats sent by others. Because I hold authority and possess the ultimate say about your fate. Although challenges may arise, you may also suffer from your mistakes. Do not suffer now. You continue to be my beloved kid. I can protect you from danger even if the arena seems to disintegrate. While those around you succumb to fear, exhibit strength and courage. Do not be scared now. I can no longer forsake you. This is the most profound evidence of love that one can see and recognize. You comprehend the reality conveyed via this means of communication. Perceive my touch on your heart, providing resolutions to your persistent uncertainties. I love you and am expressing it now. I am easing your disdain for corrupt people who made mistakes. You concur that the current context will not invalidate any of your past experiences. You possess enthusiasm, knowledge, and maturity. You are prepared to defend those you love and aid others. Who has endured as you have when your moment of liberty has arrived? Now, I am positioning you as a tool of my affection to illuminate others in darkness, however, your adversaries recognize your potential, and those with ulterior motives may disrupt your tranquility and undermine your calm. 
If you allow them to disturb your peace and ignore your faith by giving in to fear, you might face anxiety once more. However, my enormous love, boundless compassion, and Holy Spirit will not allow your assailment. Therefore, I promise to lift you again if you fall. Do not err in your contemplation. I have averted my attention from you. Should you inadvertently slip into enemy traps, I am capable of rescuing you. If your faith diminishes and your heart becomes filled with negative thoughts, I can still advocate for you. I can purify your spirit and rejuvenate you once again with my words. I will no longer let anybody divert your affection from me. Neither sword, starvation, pollution, conflict, chance, nor misery can sever your connection to it, because amongst all these adversities, you are more than a victor. You have renounced evil and bestowed onto me your heart. You have publicly affirmed your faith in me as your rescuer and protector. Your allegiance has been steadfast. Unlike others who complain about me and reject me when faced with difficulties, your loyalty has been steadfast. They voice their complaints to anyone who will listen, no longer restraining their speech and demonstrating no regard for their lives, families, futures, or well-being. They diminish my redemption via their deeds that trample upon my sacred love. However, I persist in loving them without faltering. You reside at a considerable distance from the malevolent and intercede on their behalf. Let go of those who scorn my words. Advance, persevere. Do not remain in your current situation. I bestow upon you many opportunities, endowing you with the vitality of metal. Advance with veracity and confront the adversaries and challenges you must encounter with courage. You have become strong and brave a champion among champions. Commence each morning by invigorating your faith with my words, presenting your beliefs and requests before me at the earliest opportunity. Bear in mind that nothing may be beyond my capabilities. I have provided you with assistance. I will strive to support you in anything. Maintain your composure and relish my tranquility. You are entering a magical lifestyle. Approach this location. I am contacting you at this moment. I am in your area. As your knees touch the earth in prayer with devotion and respect, my forces will arrive here. I am reaching out to you inside this kind of hug that envelops you. Notify me upon receipt. I have decided to bestow my blessings on you. You reached out to me, and I am here to respond. Your lifestyles will exchange. Cease your doubts. I will provide you a new heart, and even those familiar with you will be astonished. Assistance will arise from the most unexpected sources. Express gratitude. A several opportunities for blessings will arise and several new chances will present themselves to you. Contemplate these terms and allocate them accordingly. Do not underestimate hope. Engaging in conversation with me is not difficult. Gently close your eyes and declare, Lord, I want your presence and I may be at your side with your assistance. Maintain confidence, because this is the truth. My presence will remain with you as long as you do not ridicule my grace or reject the gifts I bestow upon you. I am consistently supportive of your beliefs and attitude. Kindly assist me, particularly during these moments of profound bewilderment. Cease to expose your spirit to false doctrines, and do not allow animosity to establish itself in your heart. To avoid immorality, do not denigrate non-enemies or wrongdoers. Do not allow the trivialities you see, focus on, or analyze to influence you. Refrain from disseminating gossip if approached by someone with such information. Credence no longer easily succumbs to the enemy's traps. My gaze seeks those who are really loyal and faithful, those who love me, but also fear the repercussions of violating my laws. I am elevating you to gather others in order to motivate your family to share those potent and heavenly words and to refrain from engaging in the misdeeds of others. If your concerns prevent you from understanding my remarks, I sincerely implore you to do so. Devote some time to focus on them again. Review all my emails. 
I hope your heart understands my signals. You often want tranquility, which I can provide. Nevertheless, please also cherish my words in your heart. Keep these in mind when the enemy surges in, ready to devour and mock your faith. My speech conveys a message, and your soul comprehends it. My expression is a beacon for your feet, a light for your road. My commandments are more delightful than honey, providing you with the strength and fortitude to ascend and triumph in every situation you encounter. No adversary will inflict damage upon you if you maintain vigilance. If my promise resides on your lips and occupies your mind continuously, relinquish your fears. I can notify you when an opportunity arises. Evil manifests in opposition to you. Cease to harbor fear. I will generate power. You shall rise, and by articulating these lines with conviction, all malevolence will go. You may free your property from distress, deprivation, and affliction. My word establishes itself in your home and serves as the safeguard of your family, so no one can withstand you throughout your life. I like to see your heart ignite, your eyes wide, and your mind vigilant. You must be ready to embrace the many benefits, reflections, and the opportunity to conquer the world in order to reap the rewards of your sacrifice and labor. No experience you have endured will be futile. All my efforts contribute to your well-being. Your family will witness amazing miracles in your home and understand why I care about each of you. I advocate for respecting all individuals. Do not disdain anybody, whether youthful or elderly. Do not label anything that I have purified as dirty. Advise them to disregard one of their histories, since I have absolved it entirely. Facilitate and aid the individuals you cherish in their development. I may bestow more benefits on you since I favor the dissemination of those gifts via your actions toward others. From your heart will flow rivers of living water, plentiful and pure. Those you encounter on your journey will experience miracles, marvels, and healing. They may see in your grin the desire they long for, and many others who do not notice me will remember that I am genuine and authentic, as I have shown compassion to you. So will I extend mercy to all individuals who renounce their transgressions and present their true hearts before me in the present time. I envelop you with bonds of devotion. I have dispelled the summer clouds of sorrow and envelop you in the aura of my elegance. Exit your residence, days upwards, raise your arms, and declare to the four winds that I am your shepherd and your provider, affirming your unwavering confidence in me and your commitment to adhere to my tenets to the end. Execute it immediately. Accept this restorative anointing. Experience the energy I provide. Cease to worry or hesitate. Continue progressing, disseminating this phrase, and maintaining thankfulness in your heart for all the blessings I bestow upon you today. Notify me of your acquisition of the love I provide. Experience the delightful sensation that emanates from inside. I observed your inability to achieve this. Somber. I sensed your thoughts racing, but am here to reassure you that you need not be concerned. I am dispelling the concerns that reside in the recesses of your subconscious, alleviating the burden of your transgressions in recent times. I heal the enduring wounds and dismantle the chains that have recently bound you. Religion may provide insights into the future. I will be with you daily until you surrender and never leave you. Present me with my facts. My love for you is so deep that I sacrificed myself in the past and rose with vigor so that you may attain everlasting existence. I assert that my love for you is so great that I devoted myself entirely, rising with might so that you may attain eternal life. Have faith in my assurances. I am always available to guide you along the right path and prevent any mistakes. Give me your trust in those promises, and I'll favor you. Never experience solitude or confusion. I am just a prayer away. It is ultimately my decision to wait with optimism the delightful things you want but have yet to get. Rest certain that you will soon get the rewards you have long anticipated. 
absorb my words in your essence and reflect. Call upon me with complete earnestness, and I will provide the solution. You seek me at this moment. Conduct research and develop. Immerse yourself in my Holy Spirit, who continually reveals my fondness and likeness to you. Embrace the tranquility that fortifies you, my dear. I perpetually adore you. You expressed gratitude to me today for each preceding day of existence. It takes little effort to express your appreciation using your own words. I am well aware of your aspirations. Before you express your opinions, please concur with me. Join me for a moment of serenity. Find a tranquil time to reflect on the aspects for which you are now thankful. Consider your existence, your family, and your physical health. There are several reasons you are fortunate, including the oxygen you breathe, the sustenance on your table, the shelter over you, and the ethereal protection around your property, the warrior angels who encamp and vigilantly oversee your aspirations, prepared for battle. Numerous admirable reasons exist to embrace life, and you should contemplate them daily to ensure your mind is filled with positive ideas and your eyes remain attuned to see the kindness directed towards you. Experiencing tranquility in the awareness that I have your fate in my grasp, I reside in a grateful heart that recognizes its dependence on me and pursues me with faith and hope, fully cognizant of its blessings. I see your anxiety over the events of life. However, they are commonplace. Do not be very worried. You carry your responsibilities, want stability in your possessions, family well-being, and no disturbances to your peace. However, there are dark times when one fails to express gratitude and confront the opponent. Whispers deceive. They transform your challenges into anxiety, fear into terror, and terror into sorrow. I am watching and waiting to make gestures and speak words that will force the enemy to retreat. Express gratitude for your existence, familial connections, and well-being. Your true faith and thankful heart act as shields that fortify you during times of adversity. I might remain alongside your mattress the next day, waiting the moment you awaken, eager to hear your first words of the day spoken from a thankful spirit. Express gratitude, especially on days when you feel despondent, and articulate your difficulties. I can convert any emotion into sadness, regret, tranquility, guilt, longing, and depression. I'm invading your mind, forcing you to listen to misleading voices from the other side. I am obliterating it permanently. I am the supreme deity. You are my chosen child who obeys, trusts in me, and diligently follows me. You deserve the liberty. I want to provide you liberation from all cognitive distress via the restorative power of my sacrificed blood. Attend to my voice. Maintain comprehensive health from head to toe. Elevate your aspirations from the ground and go on. Examine the path that leads to the elevated peak of sanctity in your sight of triumph. My Holy Spirit fortifies the emotions I am instilling in your heart. You will receive a certain and appropriate favor if you trust me and my eternal word. You are correct in entrusting your heart to your Divine Father, who loves you profoundly. I am no longer a product of imagination, an extraordinary supernatural phenomenon. Fewer challenges will emerge for those who listen and courageously embrace humility and simplicity, who honor my words, recognize their flaws, abandon malevolence, and choose to go forward without retrospection, my child. I have an affinity with you. I must restore your health. I will break every connection and erase all the curses and spells that misled you. They have deceived you into believing there is a power in this universe greater than mine. My words caused the ground to tremble, vanquishing malevolent powers. I couldn't face my history prior to my moment of victory. No human or religious entity can hurt you or bring you distress, since you are not alone. My hands extend towards you. My benevolence envelopes you. My sanctity safeguards you continuously. No additional sorrow. No intensified pain. There will be no more tears shed in despair. 
Get the peace and satisfaction I'm giving you now. Confirm receipt of this message. Indicate your agreement. Flex your knees and express gratitude for the love and marvels around you. I possess accurate facts for you. I recognize the importance of being well prepared. I will address any situation that troubles your soul. I can bestow blessings on your family, health, and finances. You are entering a period of recuperation. Pay close attention, as I am ready to guide and demonstrate all necessary actions to ensure you don't miss anything and everything is satisfactory, my child. I have affection for you, and I must facilitate your healing. I am dismantling the falsehoods and maledictions that have ensnared you. Have faith in my power, and recognize that in this cosmos, no energy surpasses my own need. My affection for you is immense. Acquire it completely and get tranquility. I am here to fortify your soul and make it resolute. The challenges of life will not assail you without struggle, nor should you tremble in fright at hearing falsehoods, misinformation, or empty threats of insult. When I speak, have faith in the appropriateness of my words, for you are not weak but resilient, neither subdued nor vanquished. Rise immediately from the confines constructed by your adversaries and relinquish the load of past transgressions I have already absolved. Do not encumber your thinking with futile conflict. Do not let negative feelings take hold in your heart. And do not harbor resentments. Forgive those who have caused your suffering and leave them in the past. In addition to these memories, I direct my focus toward the future because it is within my adept grasp. I can guarantee the fulfillment of your chosen purpose. Marvels will abound in your life, and you will witness my affection favoring your family and my strong lineage fortifying your home. Convey your beliefs and articulate your thoughts. Your thoughts are vast, and I have the ability to infuse them with the sweetness of the rock and provide you with the finest wheat. I articulate my daily commitments to you, and I am generally prepared to provide you with more. Embrace the expressions that provide tranquility to your spirit. Employ the guard to protect yourself from nefarious attacks. I want the words you learn to resonate within your household, enabling your family to accept my assurances and experience a gentle tranquility that envelops you in calm every day. Have faith in the seemingly impossible miracles, for I can bestow wealth, provision, freedom, and prosperity upon those you cherish. Who else can provide such extraordinary joy? Understand your thoughts and fulfill your desires while also imparting healing peace and gentle tranquility. I am the one who sacrificed my life and resurrected to offer you salvation. I design your days, fate, and future. No task is insurmountable for me. The sector's falsehoods misled many, leading them to doubt my devotion for them and believe I was just contemplating retribution. They refused to embrace my affection, opting instead to acknowledge it as genuine while clinging to falsehoods that ensnare them in disillusionment. However, heed my words, for your attention signifies that I possess something magnificent and extraordinary for you and your family. It is not a mere fabrication of AAG in inception. I am your supreme deity, and now I address you with benevolence and resilience. I reveal all the magnificent intentions I hold for you and the advantages I am directing your way. However, I implore you to unequivocally embrace this extraordinary love, a love that is patient and kind, devoid of envy or boastfulness, not arrogant or rude. It does not dishonor others, is not self-serving or easily provoked. It keeps no record of wrongs. It does not take pleasure in evil but rejoices in the truth. Embrace this enduring love that persists through all circumstances, including faith, desire, and tenacity, and never falters. This love embodies the pinnacle of extraordinary advantages. Yours encompasses affection, desire, and faith. Nevertheless, the most significant of them is the affection I have bestowed upon you and will perpetually provide with all my heart. Receive it and inscribe with your own hand. 
I appreciate your daily emergence with enthusiasm and conviction, which brings me joy. You no longer succumb to misfortune. You do not retreat. You have a striking resemblance to me in several aspects. Within your heart is the resolve to assist and unify your family in harmony in order to receive my blessing with the dawn's first light. Maintain this course. Maintain that trust. Your persona embodies both your devotion and your recompense. You are an exceptional individual, and your motions resonate with me. They pay tribute to me. I must provide opportunities for other people to see someone like you who has genuine faith and unequivocally cares for me. I hold you in high regard. You have persevered through hardships without harboring resentment toward those dishonest allies who harm you. They took material things, but not what matters most. Your faith, commitment, and determination to adhere to my desires will manifest. What more could you embody, my dear daughter or son? You can be confident that the words I have imparted to you have yielded significant outcomes, and there are still more benefits and blessings to come. You own a remarkable future ahead. Feel assured in the knowledge that you have my guidance in any circumstance. You may approach with optimism and express your innermost feelings at my altar in any circumstance of necessity. Should you have concerns or have heard my fidelity will remain unwavering. I can never forsake you. I will envelop you with my presence wherever you go, and you may perceive it. Your skin will encounter me. Your spirit will gain confidence in my unwavering support, ready to help you triumph over adversaries, restore your well-being, and empower you. With my words, you can dispel malevolent forces from your life, family, health, finances, and all those under your care, enabling them to thrive in success. My magnificent splendor might permeate your home, and extraordinary phenomena might occur daily. Engage with a community of admirable individuals who can also benefit from the remarkable kindness you embody. I implore you again, proceed as you already are. Do not revert to the realm of skepticism. Pause momentarily. Approach me. Submit your knees and return your heart to my words. Commit to the straightforward act of relinquishment in which you surrender your worries and responsibilities prior to my presence. I acknowledge the burden you bear, and it is an effective means of attaining freedom. I firmly plan these days to strengthen your spirit with my presence. Focus attentively, because my speech extends to you with unwavering affection. I've chosen to help you recover what you lost. Allow me to guide you down the path of serenity and calmness inside your heart. You want happiness, and I must fully restore it overcoming the formerly overwhelming challenges. I want to liberate you from the troubles that afflict your existence. Do not suppress or neglect such anxieties. Fear should not force you to consider unfavorable options. You have incurred significant costs for your errors, yet the period of strife is over. From now on, we have forgiven your transgressions, cleanse your spirit, and remove the chains of regret and uncertainty. You have been lingering and detaching, my dear and costly child. I have designed my programs for you with numerous benefits, ensuring your optimal health and well-being. While not everything may be perfect and challenges may arise, I will support you in strengthening your resolve to the end, should you allow me to reclaim your life. Declare, my God, you are my sovereign and my master. Whenever you return to request anything from me, do it with assurance and demonstrate your trust. Your gratitude is the most valuable contribution you can make to our shared experience. The present moment is the most exquisite opportunity that may arise today. Therefore, approach it without trepidation. I can no longer dismiss you. My precious blood has atoned and absolved your transgressions. There is no need for shame in my presence. Despite your deviation and neglect, I affirmed mercy. I sent legions of angels to liberate you from the grasp of evil and to facilitate your return to me. Will you return to me the day after tomorrow with accurate information? 
Will you quantify the gradual revelation of marvels you had not before witnessed? Will you discuss the remarkable changes occurring in your life? Affirm your allegiance, and I will focus with immense delight. This is why I have called upon you once more to bring about a transformation in your life. I no longer desire to return to a land filled with hate, disdain, despair, and depression. Will you contemplate my request or listen with full enthusiasm? Consequently, I have included you once again to transform your presence. I no longer want to return to a place rife with animosity, contempt, disillusionment, and despondency. Hear me. Will you place your trust in me, or in those who obstruct your path, disrupting perfection as they too become entangled in sin and confusion? No one can assert excellence in my presence. Don't let people who reject you here cause you to lose hope or spirit. You hold immense value, and there's only one suitable route, a single open portal, that can lead you to eternal life, complete happiness, and enduring joy with me. Yao will inevitably experience love, acceptance, and authentic holy reverence. You may come at any time, day or night, if you feel despondent, see failure, or encounter the frailty that leads to vice, error, and sin. We treat you here according to the customs of any nation you reside in. I am always attentive to your pleas of contrition, and I present an additional danger should you accept me. Forgiveness and the desire to begin again require your heartfelt commitment. Since I love you and acknowledge your desire for my affection, this may not be necessary. Good morning. What is your current emotional state? Inform me of anything that might coexist with us. Speak from your heart. Disclose what has been concealed inside. It's time to unleash your innermost thoughts after hearing my powerful words. My restorative touch will reach your spirit, providing solace for your sorrowful eyes and severing every bond that confines you to the feelings that torment your heart. My power can effortlessly destroy steel nails, just as it can restore your tranquility. Rejuvenate your faith, perceive your wings unfurling, and acquire strength. Embrace that retro-inclination to elevate yourself and achieve your aspirations. I need you to have a positive experience. It is imperative that you join me in my presence daily. We shall eliminate the summer episodes of your life and narrate a whole new story. I want you to see yourself, as I do, as someone who values you as a victor. Each day, you grow with a profound purpose. Your age does not impede enjoyment, as you are a significant benefit to many, capable of assisting and uplifting others. You offer an abundance of seeds for others to sow before they rest in a fertile field. Ascend and survey the surroundings. Your family needs your presence. Both large and little hearts revere you. The adversary has tortured you throughout your lives, attempting to stifle your potential and confine you inside the prison of resentment. He nearly persuaded you of your insignificance, inflicting seemingly minor wounds that exacerbated and depleted your spirit. I urge you to trust my words, dismiss falsehoods, and embrace faith with the aim of restoring you to the completeness of my love and beauty in my presence. I may consistently embrace you, perpetually acknowledge you, and typically present you with any other opportunity to start over. My costly child, remember the time when the fragility of life became evident, and you too followed my counsel. You revealed your innermost feelings, acknowledged your errors, and with genuine remorse distanced yourself from your transgressions. Your earnest and profound prayer of repentance brought gladness to the skies. We rejoiced at your return to the community, now with your religion shining brightly. You are navigating a path through the challenges of many lifestyles. I appreciate your trust in confiding everything to me and sharing your feelings without hesitation. I see you rekindling the joy of life, as you face the hidden shadows in your soul. You need to confront them. Through our daily conversations, you will uncover remarkable vitality, deepen your faith, and profoundly experience the relief of burdens from your shoulders. 
uplifting your spirit and infusing you with genuine happiness. Concentrate, I've heard your voice now. Fearlessly express the innermost thoughts of your heart. I have profound affection for you. When you seek my love and words to sustain you, I enjoy your presence when it feels appropriate. You are seeing changes inside yourself, but if any residual sorrow persists, acknowledge that I am present. Indeed, there are times when emotions overwhelm you, leaving you breathless amidst a barrage of thoughts. However, keep in mind that every morning offers a chance for prayer, guiding your life towards a path of joy, free from burdens you no longer need to bear. Remember, my child, there are significant issues to address. There may be no time to waste on concerns about issues that will never escape my vigilant oversight. Do not fear for my affection and safeguarding, in which you own everything. Exercise your faith and get comfort. Approach me, regardless of whether you kneel or remain seated wherever you may be. I stand close to your eyes, displaying a graceful expression of gratitude. Thank you for your family, your artwork, and your well-being. It is not always necessary to inquire, yet, I take satisfaction in your requests expressed with complete trust. I heard you, and my angels quickly joined you at my command. Their design is to comply and assist you. You are my offspring. You should seek grace and compassion in your life. Therefore, inquire without hesitation. I must reiterate that you should not feel distressed about seeking my assistance. A day when you don't want we may indicate a decline in your faith and contentment. Make a request, and I will provide everything you need. Utilizing the honey from the rock, I may unlock the celestial windows and bestow my sacred blessing till it overflows. Utilize your trust. I possess the fortitude to dismantle vast sources of discontent. Overcome the barriers of malevolence and dismantle the bonds of sinful cravings and destructive behaviors. Request everything that is just, kind, amiable, and enlightening, regardless of its seeming impossibility. If it enhances your consciousness and well-being, ask me with affection at the right time. I can respond and provide it to you. I am aware of your existence and your apprehensions and feelings. I am very aware of your deficiencies and aspirations. I understand that you weep while experiencing despair and loneliness, which is why I never allow the crossing of your hand. You want my presence once again, as you likely did briefly in the past when sorrow consumed you, and you called out to my God, asking where I am now. I provide a signal indicating my attentiveness to your requirements. While I cannot better explain this, I know that the time will come when you will be unprepared. Continue to engage in daily prayer. Perceive my presence. Discover how to understand me. I am your father. My affection for you is flawless. I assure you of my genuine affection, as I do not deceive. I hold you in high esteem. I prioritize your well-being, vitality, and daily pleasure. I offer this to you. I may persist in my demands, and each morning, I will be here with words of support and a message of love to instill in your soul. A period has elapsed. This is your second. You were created to experience triumph. It was never my desire to remain dejected and discouraged. While others may have disparaged you, rendering you disheartened and labeling you a failure, their thoughtless remarks possess no substance and provide no value. Disregard them because your triumph is within my grasp. I am your source of hope in difficult times. Let us terminate all futile speculation and emotions of inadequacy. All that diminishes your spirit, my sacred expression, restores, inspires, invigorates your joy and imbues you with fresh, remarkable aspirations. I want to see you with that beautiful grin, your heart overflowing with joy. Your journey does not end here. It is lengthy but replete with extraordinary surprises, and the proper people continue to pray. 
daily encounter my presence and explore methods to acknowledge me. I am your progeny. My affection for you is flawless. Trust that I really like you because I do not deceive. I hold you in high regard. I prioritize your well-being, vitality, and daily pleasure. I concede it to you. I will persistently provide encouragement, and each morning I will provide words of affirmation and care to nurture your heart. A period has arrived. This is your moment. Your destiny is to witness triumph. It was never my intention to remain. Conquered and demoralized, while others may have attacked you, belittled your experiences, and labeled you a failure. The thoughtless remarks have no significance and effect no change. Disregard them, because your triumph is in my embrace. I am your current source of hope. Let us terminate any distressing inquiries and sentiments of insufficiency. All that burdens you, my sacred word restores, inspires, invigorates, rejuvenates your happiness, and instills fresh, exquisite aspirations inside you. I want to see you with that bright grin you now possess, your heart overflowing with delight. The journey does not end here, your path is extensive but replete with remarkable surprises and exceptional individuals. Please respond affirmatively, expressing your belief that you will value yourself and steadfastly hold my hand without relinquishing it. I pledge to love you always and to watch after you. No one in today's society can diminish the sacred love I possess. I will come to your home and transform your faith, which you have conveyed to me through your devotional and sincere prayers. Therefore, I am here to offer my assistance. Consider that it is fundamentally your belief. This is the key that unlocks incredible possibilities. The realization that my love for you is boundless and that no matter your circumstances, I am always here. You are no longer alone in your anguish and in need of my restoration. You cooperate, devoid of judgment. I am with you, enveloping you with my kind presence. I offer quiet solace without condemnation, acting as a receptive listener to your profound expressions, gently encouraging you to express your desires for me, as this aligns with your reality. After exhausting your strength, Reaffirm your desire for me. I observe the barren desert together with you and your family. You embark on a journey where loneliness dries up longing, and your soul yearns for affection that is frequently denied. The journey burns, causing you to weep with each step across the scorching stones. I sympathize with your pain, but know that I am here to help. I have arrived to protect you from the adversaries out to harm you. Your current experience may only represent a process of cleansing, Similar to how gold gleams most brilliantly after exposure to fire, so shall you. Rise radiant and cleansed of anything that lacks luminosity. I no longer harbor you inside, so you may look down upon others. Instead, extend your hand to those who have fallen, to elevate them and release wrath, arrogance, fear, doubt, and uncertainty and faith. Instead of dwelling on the past, which brings no joy, focus on the present. Give thanks for the little and big things in life. Walk with a pure conscience and cherish my values in your heart. Do not neglect yourself and your family. Your future has more value. The value of your future surpasses that of money, cars, real estate, professions, jobs, fame, or reputation. Do not lament the loss of clothing. Instead, prioritize what is undoubtedly valuable. Adore me. Seek me with all your might, because I am your companion, and I will fulfill your wishes. Provide you with genuine benefits, provide many opportunities, and bestow upon you ample possibilities. Keep a watchful eye on your surroundings. Even unfavorable circumstances can turn to your advantage. So don't give up when faced with initial challenges that appear confusing amidst all the difficulties and frustrations. I am hiding wealth and many benefits. Ready yourself to precisely manage what I confer upon you. Are you looking for guidance in my statement to develop the qualities 
and abilities I have established in your life while avoiding falling victim to material wealth. Do not yield to reputation nor fret about debts for the sake of vanity. Recognize what is essential. Strive to exist. Elevate your secular lives to a higher plane. Dedicate yourself to comprehending my statement and grasping my meaning thoroughly. will provide you with significant information for your consideration and observation. Remarkable phenomena need vigilance about your physical wellness and familial affairs. Do not procrastinate now. I provide you with the enthusiasm and expertise to address numerous contemporary challenges. Avoid procrastination until the last minute. As desperation may compel action when you disregard my counsel, resulting in unwarranted frustration. As end in propulsion and acquisition motion. Exhibit audacity. Your heart exhibits bravery, and from my perspective, I see no signs of fear inside you, regardless of your emotions. Do the necessary tasks without concern. You will get a favorable arrangement without incurring any loss. Yet, must you forfeit something or others? Foster annoyance with your rational choices. Control the individuals under my grasp. Offer prayers for them, but do not follow their counsel or actions. Individuals who choose their own road to ruin cannot assist you. I am here to assist you in any situation. Place me in the first position, and I will assist you beyond measure. I can enrich you and provide benefits more valuable than gold. Even at moments of failure and fatigue, I may rejuvenate your will to live, carry you from the ashes, and all who accompany you, alongside generations to come, will see the extent of my blessings upon you. I will exchange your clothing, bestow upon you glory, and clarify your path. My magnificence may adorn your dwelling. Put your trust in me, because it will be just that. I have affection for you, my dear. I want to enter your home to execute a remarkable miracle. I stand at your door and knock on it. Will you let me introduce something novel, exceptional, potent, and extraordinary into your life. I have identified your predicament, and I will not let a deficiency affect your household. I will bestow upon your family an abundance of benefits. You have remained steadfast in your devotion to me for decades, engaging in prayer, fasting, and lamentation. As you prioritize me in every action and thought, the realization of what you have cultivated is imminent allowing me to enrich your residence with abundance, enjoyment, vitality, and well-being. Trust in my words, because I am capable of fulfilling everything that I have promised you. Abandon the archaic modes of existence characterized by dread and despair as your companions. If you have my endorsement, you gain resources, insight, fortitude, and the ability to make wise decisions to grow and improve what I have given you. Allow it to serve as a source of benefits for writers as well. Express gratitude and acknowledge that I am narrating your life. I am preparing you for an impending time when you will arrive at a place brimming with possibilities. Your heart has been a fertile place for the development of religious beliefs. I have seen you endure hardships and confront challenges, but you never question my strength or my existence. Your victory sprang from your belief in me, and through your faith, I discovered joy, bestowing my kindness and compassion onto you. With my powerful hand, I can cultivate the seeds you sowed to flourish and provide abundant fruit, benefiting not just you but everyone around you. The moment approaches, you will experience the benefits of your persistence. What I am introducing in your residence exceeds your imagination by a considerable margin. You deserve first-class treatment and additional benefits due to the value of your beliefs. Your modest disposition will take you far. I am creating new opportunities, presenting you to new places, and fostering prosperity inside your residence. I cherish you, my son and my daughter. What is your current state today? No challenge shall prevail against you as long as you remain steadfast in faith, certain that I safeguard your future in my embrace. All provisions originate from me. 
I am the one individual who has enhanced your lives. Remain in my vicinity. Seek refuge under my shadow. In moments of frenzy, seek me, and you will attain my tranquility. The adversary may mislead you into believing that your problems outweigh my strength, but my power is greater, and your faith is remarkable. You should place your reliance in the strength inside yourself, not in others, nor in your methods, nor in chance to get the health, happiness, and tranquility you want. Present your requirements to me, and assistance will follow. Nevertheless, do not just remain passive and await it. Ascend in progress in faith toward your goal. While the surrounding sector fluctuates, you cannot rely on its caprices. Your vitality derives from me, the one entity inside the cosmos capable of unequivocally sustaining and augmenting you. Remember the times in the past when you confided in me about your pain. I arrived at your side, elevated you, and demonstrated the depth of my love. I have tried to demonstrate the depth of my affection since that time, so do not question my sincerity now, especially as you stand on the brink of achieving so much. This is not the moment to pause or allow uncertainty to dominate your thoughts. Your hasty actions led to the mistakes of the past. Despite not engaging in meditation or prayer to seek separation from me, I remained in your presence. I implore you once again to entrust all your troubles to me. Permit your spirit to attain tranquility today. I instill courage in your heart so you may pursue your desired path, converse with whoever you choose, and advocate for what you believe is right. I may accompany you. I, your omnipotent deity, will reveal your objectives. With my presence, you possess everything you requested. I cried out in distress and I am here to provide you with sympathy and answers. Your acceptance of me is gratifying. Your prayers, offered in humility, to invoke my presence in every circumstance reflect much on your character. Even if I anticipated your request before you spoke a word, I take pleasure in your prayers. They ascend like holy incense, a pleasing fragrance before my throne, warming my heart with your strong, unchanging faith fully aware of my profound love and desire to soothe your soul. Your request will be fulfilled, and your family will no longer have those issues. Once again, I will provide you with expertise, insight, and intelligence, enabling you to anticipate the adversary's strategies before they proliferate. Have faith, go out, and seize the opportunity I have arranged for you. You will receive the names of people you cannot see or contact for a while. I can connect you with these individuals because, through them, I can bestow blessings upon you, which you will then fulfill in return. That is how it works, my dear. I extend my advantages to anyone who sincerely seeks them. I am unveiling a significant opportunity in your life. Nevertheless, Remember to preserve your humility to prevent pleasure from compromising your future. Engage with your Bible, delve into my sacred text to strengthen your faith, and reflect upon me each morning, valuing my words and upholding my promises, which are invaluable to your soul. At a certain point in my existence, I encountered numerous individuals, sharing their burdens, empathizing with their pain, and offering them the prospect of eternal life. I have now entrusted you with the same project, to serve as a conduit of my love, a beacon of my light in a world that often dwells in darkness. Consider how the Father sends me, the Lord Jesus, just as I send you. Visually and spiritually blind beings populate the arena. The gentleness of my affection closes their hearts. They wander disoriented and fearful in their self-created darkness, oblivious to the fact that their redemption is but a murmured prayer away. Despite giving the blind sight and revealing the world, you, my dear, awaken them to a reality greater than dawn. You may wonder how to overcome such a problem, but I can help you penetrate the darkness, just as I commanded storms to subside and heal. I can articulate via your expressions perform through your actions, 
and love through your heart and your existence. A testament to my existence may serve as the means by which others afflicted with coronary heart disease may see the emergence of my illumination. You possess an inherent brilliance that, like a city on a hill, cannot remain concealed. I implore you not to extinguish that light or hide it out of fear or uncertainty, but to elevate it so everyone can see your kindness to strangers, comfort for the bare of it, and care for the lonely. You embody my affection. Every act of kindness and each word of truth you convey serves as a guiding torch in the darkness, leading the lost back to me. As you navigate your daily activities, be aware of my presence alongside you. You are not walking alone, as I attended to the pleas of the wretched, remedied the afflicted, and associated with transgressors. I heeded the screams of the malevolent, restored the sick, and consorted with sinners. I am contacting you to see beyond the surface and discern the concealed fractures. I aim to interact with the surrounding environment through my rehabilitative approach. Don't let your success wear you out, as you could eventually receive a reward. If you refuse to yield, the path may be unique, arduous and burdensome, but I stand with you, augmenting your strength in every confrontation. Permit your words to become my expressions. You caress each heart with your touch, my touch, and my affection. You assist in liberating all beings. Your engagement with my message contributes to the remarkable fabric of redemption. I am navigating through records. Be mindful of my presence, you are nearer than your heartbeat. I am your creator, your savior, and your unwavering solace. I am acutely aware of your challenges and the weight you bear, and I possess comprehensive knowledge of your methodologies. What exhausts you when the sun traverses the sky? What concerns chase you into the depths of night, depriving you of the tranquility I so want for you? Is it dread that constricts your heart, or rather the solitude of love that envelops your spirit? I observe you. I see the burden in your gait, and the fatigue inscribed on your visage. I do not want to live in bondage to sin, grief, or the unrelenting demands of a harsh and cruel world. An immense and profound love drove me to this worldwide destination, opting for sacrifice on your behalf. I walked among women and men, no longer as a distant divinity but as one who actively participated in every experience that humanity cherishes. I have also experienced hunger, fatigue, and the fear of rejection. I have cried. Kindness has truly touched me. I have extended my hands to heal, repair, and provide assistance. Desire, in my view, may include a life more significant than you have ever realized. I invite you back to drink from this extraordinary abundance you have yet to understand. I encourage you to partake in the essence of this lifestyle. I urge you to allow the movement of these massive chains. You have no obligation to endure my burden. My load is light. By accepting what I provide, you will discover solace for your spirit. Preserve a cherished entity that the world cannot provide or eliminate. Why do you remain in the darkness when I provide you illumination? Step outside, reach out, and I can meet you there. Cleaning is unnecessary. Purify yourself before approaching me, because I am the one who will purify you. No need to be sin-free before approaching me. I will liberate you. My sentences transcend mere historical documents. They embody the essence of lives and power capable of severing even the strongest relationships. My words embody soul and honesty. They transcend temporal and situational boundaries, resonating throughout your essence. As you absorb them, let them shape and revitalize your thinking. Remember, you are never alone in your struggles. Every day, I hold your hand in the quiet of the morning and the chaos of the day. While you sleep, I vigilantly observe you because you are my treasured child. Please let my love flow into you and radiate to others, as I have liberated you. Do you aspire to embody my love and freedom for individuals in your vicinity? Convey lifestyles to barren regions. 
Fulfill the desires of the afflicted. Illuminate the darkness with my light. You are my representative, a conduit of excellence. Bring to me, my dear, all of your concerns, uncertainties, and pain. Place them upon my toes, consume, and I will grant you repose. Take me into consideration. Rely on me, as I diligently advocate for your rights in a collaborative manner. I am your protection, your fortitude, your essence, and your exceptional prize inside me. You surpass a conqueror, because nothing will ever separate you from my love while you traverse the currents of life. I see you with eyes brimming with profound affection, a love that extends beyond the vastness of the cosmos during your times of uncertainty. You perceive the weight of your flaws. Remember my words as conveyed via Solomon, whom the Lord cherishes. He disciplines, like a parent correcting the son in whom he takes pleasure. Remember that your journey involves embracing your current self and understanding your potential as a whole person. Your core embodies my artistry, a singular creation crafted with intention and diligence. However, like any masterpiece, the process of refining is perpetual a continual transformation toward the image of my son Jesus. Grace imbues the path to exchange, revealing aspects of yourself primed for transformation areas where the light of my presence endeavors to penetrate more profoundly. However, this awareness should not foster discontent but rather inspire a hopeful anticipation of the changes occurring within you as I beckon you to transform. This is not a reprimand, but a call to abandon outdated practices that impede our journey together, embrace the new, and step into the future I have envisioned for you plans for your well-being, not for harm, to provide you with a purpose. I hope this is not the perpetual condemnation you dread, but rather the gentle guidance of a father's hand. My dear child, after spending time among you as a representative of the father, I am now approaching you through the resonance of the phrase and the whisper of the Spirit to make my invitation to take part in my eternal mission louder. In my vision of redemption and reconciliation, you are important. Are you aware of the burdens of chains, the invisible ones that restrain the soul? Do you understand the burden that sin places on the hearts of my loved ones? Even though sin has ensnared and entangled me, I have triumphed over the world in motion. I extend my fingers, not to carry the weight of sin, but to stand for everyone who has yearned for freedom from me. Initially, I articulated existence into realities, and light penetrated the darkness as my words, vibrant and powerful, severed the shackles minding the captives. While traveling the world, I came across Mary Magdalene, a troubled woman who underwent a significant transformation thanks to my affection. When I invoked the name of the Samaritan woman who approached the well, Zacchaeus, ensnared by avarice, discovered redemption, allowing many others to experience the marvel of true liberation. You now embody a symbol of that equitable freedom in your grasp. You possess the key that opens the prison gates. The most compelling aspect of the gospel is that as I have proclaimed freedom to the oppressed, I enable you to do likewise. Discuss lives, convey data, and express affection, because in these the bonds dissolve. Permit me to inform you about the itinerant thief who, in his last moments, attained salvation. My grace can redeem any heart, no matter how hardened or how far gone from redemption. It is by no means too late, I am the deity of last-minute miracles. I am the deity who forsakes the ninety-nine to pursue the singular. I implore you to rise beyond the surface and see the unseen shackles that individuals impose upon themselves, shackles of despair and addiction to dysfunction. Their captivity shouldn't scare you, my light can illuminate any darkness. Manifest ambition in articulating the path to liberation. Let the love and strength I have instilled in them permeate your words, my beloved child. Having traveled among you as a messenger from the Father, I now approach you through the subtlety of the Spirit and the resonance of the message, amplifying my invitation to join my eternal creations. You, 
who seemed normal in my perception, are recognized as the proportion of my endeavor, the endeavor of redemption and reconciliation. Are you aware of the weight of invisible bands that confine the soul? Do you understand the burden that sin places on the hearts of my loved ones? I have succumbed to traps and entanglements, but I have triumphed over the world in the past. I extended my hands not only to carry the weight of sin, but also to welcome those who approached me seeking liberation. Initially, I infused vitality into existence and gently penetrated the darkness, akin to how my words, vibrant and potent, diminished the shackles of those imprisoned. During my time on earth, I met Mary Magdalene, a woman who was suffering from darkness and whom my love transformed. Contact the Samaritan woman who came to collect water from the well and departed with a source of live water welling up from inside. Each individual, akin to several others, experienced the essence of genuine freedom. You now represent the same freedom as your fingers. You retain the key that unsealed the prison gates. The most remarkable aspect of the gospel is that, having proclaimed freedom to the oppressed, I enable you to do likewise. Articulate lines, convey truths, and express affection, because in these, the bonds dissolve. Allow me to recount the tale of the robber on the pass who, in his last moments, attained atonement. My grace can redeem any hardened coronary heart or lost soul. It is never too late. I am the deity of last-minute miracles. I am the deity who forsakes ninety-nine to seek the singular one. I urge you, dear one, to look beyond the superficial to see the unseen shackles that individuals impose shackles of hopelessness and dependence on dysfunction. The severity of their oppression should not intimidate you, as my light can illuminate any darkness, no matter how deep. Be resolute in declaring the path to liberation. Fill your words with my love and power. The prayer you spoke on your knees has immense power. Continue to pray in that manner, my dear. Although you see yourself as being at your nadir in that admirable humility, you are, in fact, achieving greatness. My hand will gently stroke your head with affection, resonating with the echoes of heaven. Amen in your sincere prayers. Proceed, my kid, and navigate your day with fortitude. My guardians accompany you. My affection observes you.